What's going on? Okay, Energy's basically uh, inspired me to work on my Newman motor. And it's been sitting for quite a while because I've been really busy. But um, I ended up managing to get this H bridge to work. I had built several H bridges and you know put them on here and they just absolutely would blow up uh the main reason why is because how i was trying to use them now that i've got it set up correctly it's doubled the torque of this i'm basically uh just charging up a little lipo right here i'm testing that because i've heard that they don't like to be pulse charged but the way I'm doing it is different than most. So I've uh, figured in the past how to, to dump a cap load with timing more than anything because, you know, I've basically wanted to be able to charge just about anything. And with this motor, I can charge anything up to about 15 volts because once I spin it much faster, it, it's just crazy fast and shaky and... Uh, it's not real balanced. Um, it's pretty good built. I mean, I I did take my time and built it, so it's a good prototype. But it's uh, you know, I've got magnets that aren't exactly the most balanced, and uh, you know, I've got uh, skateboard you know bearings and things like that. So it's not as nice and precise as I'd like it to be. The next unit I get to build hopefully will be uh, much nicer and probably a lot different than this so anyway i have these i bought some chinese little cheap chinese h bridges and since these don't pull too many amps uh they've worked this one's really worked well i haven't blown it up yet and i've basically been able to you know i put these two uh bridge rectifiers on here to be able to capture the back EMF and those go to these two caps. These caps are 1500 microfarads each. They run right at 200 volts. So I've got about three, 3000 microfarads. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling it through this, this uh, transistor. It's just a 3055 transistor and uh, just triggering that with the PWM. And this is another one of those off the shelf, cheap Chinese PWMs. But the cool thing about using it this way, I've got it set to, to one dump every second. That's the lowest it'll go. Uh, it would be nice if I could get it slower, but it's worked fine for everything I'm doing. And uh, it helps to be able to adjust the duty cycle on it. So if you needed to dump this thing a lot quicker, I've got it at 50% right now. Uh, if you needed to dump it a lot quicker, you could. And since this is a LiPo, I don't have this running real fast, but I'll turn it up just to show you what I'm talking about so you can really see the, the charging swinging effect. Since this LiPo is almost charged, I'll turn it back down. I don't want to overcharge it. So, one thing I like about this, I haven't put this on here yet, and I will. I will build one specifically for this this model because I want this done, and I can play with it or whatever. But I just want it done. I want to go on to the next model that I build. Um, but I like this because it's adjustable. I can adjust it, and it's not just a a huge dump into the batteries which is usually a problem with these so like right now this battery is showing way more volts than it should have in it so maybe they're right maybe they don't like to be uh, charged with a pulse anyway that's a really old battery that's why I stuck it on there so it could be frying right now. Matter of fact, I probably better take it outside. <laughs> no, that was a false alarm. 
this had come disconnected so it was showing just what was in the caps give me a second i'll hook it back up that scared me i thought i was gonna have an explosion okay now i think it's working as far as this meter goes we're pulsing just a little bit over an amp just i didn't want to turn it up too much because this uh lipo it's a 3s is almost charged all the way up oh looks like i got a broken wire there anyway so yeah we're charging at just slightly over one amp we're uh, pulling less than half of an amp at 11 volts one thing i do notice is that the high voltage spikes aren't uh, as noticeable with this h bridge and so i don't know it seems to be doing the same thing i just don't see it as much but i'll show you another motor i built this motor that i built it's been a while back i've never filmed it and put it on youtube but i got to looking at a newman's patent and just in my head envision what it would be like and before i ever got i just got the uh found something online last year that shows how to build this motor i guess somebody had it on the internet and it's like some kind of manual or pamphlet i found it and i was totally amazed at how much this looks like the one that he had that you could buy the paperwork to build and this was just from reading his patent so if you read his patent you probably come up with the same thing what it is is you can see i've got some some neodymium magnets down in there i 3d printed a, a on the shaft to make those magnets fit the clearance or the is not as as good as i wanted it but i got it as tight as i could because we're dealing with you know some clearances and stuff that aren't that great i used a 3d modeler and made all this these components and then laser cut all of the uh, acrylic in order to piece this whole thing together so basically the inside of this is assembled from acrylic and then we've got the shaft and the 3d printed magnet holder and at the very back i put a a uh, hard drive motor to act as a generator and uh the way it's set up is i've got these i've got these uh six amp reed switches and if you notice they're burnt i mean i had this thing cooking and you can see a little bit of, of uh yeah spark right there and this one who knows this one may not even be working it may be one problem but i was going to put an h bridge on this one and, and play with that let me turn the voltage up here I think we're getting some back uh, EMF back into the into the uh, power supply. It's, it's it's causing some drag on the motor because this thing typically just flies. 